My name is Martin Hazel and I'm beneath Plymouth Hoe at a little area called the Belvedere and there is a plaque to the Polish Navy World War II here and in later years other plaques have gone up for example recently the Falcons War so it's a garden of remembrance and the plaque there lists all the vessels which the Polish Navy served on in World War II. A lot of them were renamed from for all naval vessels because the Poles only had three destroyers and two submarines escaped from the Baltic Sea when the Germans attacked. So they ran quite a lot of Royal Naval vessels as well and they were in all parts of the Maritime War. This plaque came from the bottom of the Albert Road by the dockyard and it was originally there to commemorate the Polish seamen who served in the Southern Command HQ of the Polish Navy in Devonport. And a lot of the uh, vessels named there, they'd run on behalf of the Royal Navy but they changed the names into Polish names. And ORP is Polish, wrestle, a vessel of the Republic of Poland. The memorial to the Polish Navy there um, was originally at the Albert Road uh, and it was uh, brought here a few years, many years later by subscription by the Anglo-Polish community in Plymouth because a lot of uh, Plymouth girls, shall we say, married and set up with ex-Polish seamen and Plymouth has quite a, a long link and heritage with Plymouth and Poland. And the headquarters of the Polish Navy is in Gdynia on Baltic coast and they have been twinned with Plymouth or had been twinned for quite some time before the old folk died away. But we still remember because we have a lot of Polish workers and younger families now and indeed Anglo-Polish families for example, I must mention Emma Rominski, granddaughter of a Polish seaman, and she works for BBC TV Spotlight. And as a result of her efforts, we got in Remembrance Day 2021, BBC Spotlight came down to film uh, the son of the last Polish commander, Devonport, there. And also Commander Charles Crichton, who sadly died last December, who did an awful lot for Royal Naval Heritage, came down as well um, and greeting the son of the last Polish commander. I'll give you story why I've researched the Polish Navy World War II. My birth mother, Marjorie Martin, that was the surname, uh, came from a long line of um, male, shall we say, dockyardies going back to the 19th century in Devonport. But my birth father was a young cadet and he became an engineering lieutenant at the end of the Second World War. And when the Polish combatants were being demobilized at the end of the war, there was a centre up at Oakhampton, which was their, shall we say, centre for uh, getting ready for civilian life in this country. And um, that's where I came from because my birth mother, who I met, she's dead now, but my birth mother obviously got very friendly with Lieutenant Anton Piontek, Polish Navy, and lo and behold, in August 1946, I was born. Then I was adopted, and it's a long story, but in finding out about my heritage, both Polish and West Country Plymouth, that's what started this.